After having gone through symmetric ciphers and asymmetric ciphers, so let's go through elliptical curve cryptography, a very interesting and a very important topic. Now elliptic curve cryptography is used because it's much faster and it provides better security is an elaborate topic. So what I shall do is each lecture session I will take one small topic. So in this lecture session we shall see how we can find the points on the elliptic curve. Right? So let's go through the general expression. <clears throat> so elliptic curves are not ellipses. So you would have studied ellipses in your 11th or 12th. Right? So elliptic curves are curves defined by the equation y squared equals x cubed plus ax plus b. Right? Now elliptic curves can be defined over real numbers. They can also be defined over primes. Right? So now Considering this equation y squared equals x cubed plus ax plus b, so we have y equals root of x cubed plus ax plus b, right? So what does this mean? So this basically means that the elliptic curve is symmetric about y equal to 0. So this is basically plus minus, right? So this is the coordinate axis x and y. Now what do you mean by y equal to 0? y equal to 0 is the horizontal axis, so the elliptic curve is symmetric about the horizontal axis. Right? So the curve above x-axis and below x-axis would be symmetric. Fine. So with this basic introduction, let's move on straight away to find the points on the elliptic curve. Given where we need to find the points on the elliptic curve, defined by e11 of 1 comma 6. Now what does this mean? Now this basically means that I have an elliptic curve where the value of a is 1 and the value of b is 6. Right? So this indicates the value of a and this indicates the value of b. And what is 11? 11 means that we are operating in mod 11. So I said that elliptic curves can be operated over or can be defined over real numbers or can be defined over a set of prime. So here I have an elliptic curve which is defined over mod 11 and the value of a is 1 and b is 6. So now I can rewrite the elliptic curve as y square equals x cube plus a is 1. So x plus 6 operating in mod 11. So I need to find the points on this elliptic curve. Now how do I find the points? Now, as we know, since we are operating in mod 11, right, so we have numbers varying from 0 to 10, that is 1, 0 to p minus 1. Okay, so the valid numbers are 0 to 10. Okay, so the value of x can be 0 to 10, the value of y also can be 0 to 10. Fine, so I need to find the values of x and y such that LHS equals RHS. When LHS is equal to RHS, then that point will lie on the elliptic curve. Right? I hope it makes sense. So now let us find the x value. So x value. So let me consider the RHS x cube plus x plus 6. So I need to find the values in mod 11. Okay? So now what are the values of x? Now x cannot take all values. x can only take values as I've already mentioned 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Right? So x can take the value 0 to 10. So I will substitute the value of x. And this basically gives me the RHS value. So when I substitute the value of x here, so x is 0, so I get 6. Next 1, 1 plus 1 plus 6 is 8. Right? Next, 2. So when I substitute the value of 2, what do I get? I get 8 plus 2, which is 10 plus 6 is 16. So 16 and mod 11 is 5. Right? That is 16 minus 11 is 5. Next, I substitute the value of 3 here and find the value in mod 11. Right? So what do I get? I get... If I do that, I get 3. So I hope you know how to find the value in mod 11. So for example, if x is 3, I get 27. 
plus 3 plus 6. So I get 36. Okay, so what you do is you take your calculators, you divide 36 by 11. Okay, so what do I get? 3 is a 33, so then I get 3, 0, so I get 3.2. So 22 minus I get 8, 7, etc, etc. Okay, so I would get the quotient which is 3.27 and so on. So from this quotient, subtract the integer part that is 3, so I get 0.27 something. Right? So I get the fractional value, I multiply it with 11. So when I multiply it with 11, what do I get? I end up getting a value which is very close to 3. Right? Isn't it? So this is 0.27, then you get 27, so I get 7, 9, 2. So I get a value which is 2.97. So you cannot have a value 2.97 because we are operating in mod 11. So therefore the value is 3. Right? So how do you find the value in mod 11 or in mod any number x? Divide the given number by p. Here it is 11. You get a value here which is in this case 3.27. Right? So now from this number subtract the integer part. You are left with the remainder part okay so now multiply this with the given number itself you get the remainder okay so here we get 3 so I hope I'm very clear with how we can find the mod value so now again 4 so when I find so I get 4 if I substitute it's 4 cube plus 4 plus 6 so I end up getting 8 so again you have 64 plus 4 plus 6, so you get 74 here. Okay, so now you can always subtract because it's 11, so we know that 66 is a multiple of 11, right? So I end up getting 74 minus 66 is 8, so it's 8 here. So similarly for 5, I get 4, for 6, I get 8, for 7, I get 4, for 8, I get 9, for 9, I would get 7 and for 10, I will get 4. So these are the RHS values. So now, let me find the LHS values. How, how do I do that? I have Y and then I have Y square. So this is LHS. So I need to find Y square in mod 11. So again, I have Y 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So substitute the value of y. So when I do that, I get 0 here. So this is the LHS value. For 1, it's 1. For 2, is 2 square is 4. 3 square is 9. 4 square is 16. So 16 minus 11 gives me 5. 5 square is 25 minus 22 gives me 3. Next, 6. 6 square is 36 minus 33 is 3. Right? So since I have 11 here, it's very easy. I can just subtract it by a multiple of 11. So next 7, 7 square is 49, so minus 44, so I get 5. Next 8, so 8 square is 64, so 64 minus 55, so you get 9. Next 9, 9 square is 81, minus 77, I end up getting 4. And 10 square is 100, 100 minus 99, which is a multiple of 11, I get 1. So here we have the LHS and the RHS value. So now I need to find the points, right? So a point that is a value of x and y or a point lies on the elliptic curve if RHS equals LHS, isn't it? So now let me check. So I have 6 here. So let me check where 6 is present in the LHS. There is no 6 present here. So definitely x comma y varying from 0 to 10 is not a point on the elliptic curve. Okay, so next, let me go to x equal to 1. So let us move systematically so that we don't miss out the points. So for 1, I get the value as 8. RHS is, is 8. So check if you have 8 in the LHS. You don't have 8 in the LHS. So this is ruled out. 
Next, for 2, I have 5 here. And if I check, I have 5 for 4 and 7. So if the x value is 2, right? So let me... So if the x value is 2, I have the RHS is 5. And similarly, it is... So if the x value is 2, RHS is 5. And if the y value is 4, RHS is also 5. So x is 4, sorry, the x is 2 and y is 4. Happens to be a point on the elliptic curve. So it basically means if I substitute 2 here, what do I get? I get 5 here. If I substitute 4 here, I will get 5 here. So 5 equals 5. So therefore, 2 comma 4 is a point on the elliptic curve. Now similarly, 2 comma 7 is also a point on the elliptic curve because LHS equals RHS. So now let's proceed. So for 3, I have 3. So let me check where do I have a 3. I have 3 for 5 and 6. So 3 comma 5 and 3 comma 6 is a point on the elliptic curve. So I hope you have followed how we can find the points on the elliptic curve. Next, 4. For 4 I have 8. So I check I don't have an 8 here. Next for 5 I get 4, so therefore I get a 4 for 2 and 9. So I have 5, comma 2 and 5, comma 9. So now let's proceed. So I have 8 for 6, I don't have 8, so 6 is ruled out. Next 7, I have 4, right? So I have, I get a 4 for 7 and I get a 4 for 2 and 9. So 2 and 9. 9. So 7, 2 and 7, 9 is a point on the elliptic curve. Next, I have a 9 for 8. So let's check. I have a 9 for 3 and 8. So I have 8, 3 and 8, 8. So next, moving on, I get a 7 for 9. So check where you have a 7. I don't have a 7. So this is ruled out. Next, I get a 4 for 10. So I also get a 4 for 2 and for 9. So 10, 2 and 10, 9 are points on the elliptic curve. So what does this mean? If I substitute these points on the elliptic curve, then LHS becomes equal to RHS. Okay. So now in this lecture session, we have seen how we can find the points on the elliptic curve if the elliptic curve y square equals x q plus x plus b is defined over mod p, where p happens to be a prime number. Okay, so this is the easiest way where you, where you can find the points. So what you need to do is write x from 0 to p minus 1, find the RHS values. Write y 0 to p minus 1, write the RHS values. Check for what values of x in y would RHS be equal to LHS and they would be the points which lie on the elliptic curve. Okay, so this is the first video lecture on elliptic curves, so I'll have many more coming soon. So make sure you do like, share and subscribe. And to view all the lecture videos on cryptography, make sure that you go through the playlist, the link which has been given in the description. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.